Cool. Hey, hey, welcome to a boot camp with Brie. We're gonna get started here in a second. First of all, you're gonna need a set of dumbbells. I recommend five to eight pounds or heavier if you're more advanced and more comfortable with those. Um, a mat is helpful as well as a towel. And then obviously grab some yourself something to drink, get some water, Gatorade, coconut water, whatever it is. And let's go ahead and get started. Today's workout is gonna be a full body boot camp. Let's bring those arms forward. Nice big circles here. And then let's kick it back. And then we're gonna reach and twist here. Just getting that spine warmed up. At any point in this workout, if you need to stop or slow it down or come down to your mat, take a few deep breaths, go right ahead. Let's go ahead and reach up and overhead. This is your workout, so take it at the pace that you need. We're gonna be here for about 30 minutes. And then let's bring those legs up. Do a couple of alternating hip circles. You're just hopping in. We're gonna be doing a 30 minute full body boot camp. Grab a set of dumbbells and join me if you want. Um, obviously I'll be working out, so I won't be checking the comments, but if you have any questions, Drop them in there if you have any injuries or anything you want me to be aware of. Let's go ahead and do some heel kicks. Just kick those heels up behind you. Tap them with the opposite hand. And we're gonna add a little side step to this. So step side to side here. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Or mouth breathe if you're a little congested like I am today. All right, let's hold it forward. Roll those fingertips down the front of your thighs, bend your knees if you need to. You can either touch your toes or drop those hands all the way onto the mat. Nice big hamstring stretch here. And then we're just gonna drop down into a frogger position and come back up. We'll do that a couple of times. All right, and then walk those feet out a little bit wider. Let's come into a side lunge here. You're just joining, welcome. For those of you that are gonna be watching the YouTube of this later, I'm streaming it live on my TikTok. And then let's bring it up a little and we're just gonna go side to side, get those steps warmed up. All right, and then bring it up. We're gonna start with a squat and press. You can grab those dumbbells if you want, or you can take a couple in the first round just with body weight. Weights, if you have them, are gonna be right here at your shoulders. We're gonna drop it down into a squat, and then we're gonna press all the way through to the ceiling and push those weights up to the sky. Bring them back down to your shoulders, drop it into that squat all the way up. If you have knee problems, or squatting is an issue for you. You're just gonna keep it a little bit narrower. Not getting as low. Feet are a little bit wider than hip distance. You can turn those toes out 45 degrees if that's more comfortable for you. Just make sure that the knees track in line with the toes the whole time. And keep going. If you scroll up, the playlist is pinned. I don't have the music up very loud because I am filming this for YouTube. Say hello to my gardener. Good timing, of course. Let's keep going here, a couple more. And last one. All right, bring those weights down, shake it out. Roll those shoulders back a few times. Take off, how we doing? All right, we're gonna go into a lateral to a forward raise. So you're gonna bring your left arm in front, right arm to the side. Lift it up. Bring it down, go ahead and switch. Right arm's gonna come forward. Again, weights are optional for this. If it gets to be too heavy, just set the weights down or drop down to a lighter weight. Make sure to keep your core engaged. Slight bend in your knees. And just a gentle squeeze in those glutes. Couple more here, keep going. If you're using body weight, I want you to slow that tempo down. Nice and slow. Create tension with your body weight. A couple more here. All 
All right, bring that left arm forward and up. We're gonna draw tiny little circles. Forward, switch directions. We got three, two, one. Bring it on, the shoulder should be on fire. Bring that right arm out in front. Same thing, little tiny circles. Four, three, two, switch directions. Three and two, bring it down, shake it out. Bring that one arm right across, give yourself a nice big hug. Switch sides. We're gonna go back to those squat presses, pick up those weights if you have them. At the shoulders, drop it down into that squat, press all the way through. Your shoulders are on fire, you need to set the weights down. That's okay, you started out too easy, you wanna go harder. Pick up those heavier weights. You can make it into two motions. If you're struggling with the form, this is your workout. Take what you need. Keep pushing here. The main thing I want you to do is just to keep moving if you can. So take it into a march in place. Take it in just to the squat or just keep working those shoulders with the shoulder press. We got three more here. Three. Ooh. And two. And last one. Push it up. All right, set those weights down. I'm gonna drop down to a little bit lighter weight for those raises. And we're just gonna do lateral raises this time. So lifting up and out to the side. Come down nice and slow. Again, nice athletic stance. Don't lock your knees out. Keep that core pulled in. So your pelvis is just kind of tucked just a little bit, just to support that low back. Thursday, so we got a little throwback Thursday vibe going with the playlist. Ooh. You can obviously turn on at your house, turn up a little louder if you want. Good, we got two more here. Last one. All right, shake it out, roll those shoulders back a few times. We're gonna go into a forward raise. So you're gonna bring those arms up to shoulder height, lower them down. You need to switch to alternating, right? Whatever you need. Avoid pulling those shoulders up to the ears. Ooh, I shouldn't have done shoulders yesterday. Keep going here. Yep. Up for eight. Two more here. Last one. Bring it down, shake it out. Set those weights down, grab a little sip of water. We're gonna do one more round of each of those. So grab those heavier weights. We've got the squat and press, and we're gonna go in five, three, two. Bring those weights up to your shoulders, drop it down into that squat, press all the way through to the ceiling. Keep your elbows in line with your body. We're doing a narrow shoulder press here. Keep breathing. Good. Keep going here. Compound movement, combining with that squat, with the shoulder press to work as many muscles at once. So we get the most bang in the shortest amount of time. Ooh, last one. And push it up, set those weights down. Stretch those shoulders out if you need to. Give them a little wiggle. We're gonna go back to that alternating raise. Again, doubles are optional. If you're doing body weight, we're just creating tension by slowing down the tempo. If you wanna add a little hold here, if you don't have weights and you want a little extra burn, just add that hold. Just make sure you're not shrugging up to your ears. Keep those shoulders nice and relaxed. Keep that core engaged. All right, last.
last one. Bring it down, shake it out. How's everybody doing? Hi, Tiki Talk Dan. All right, shake it out. So next superset is going to be push-ups. And then we're gonna come up off the floor into a reverse lunge. So a couple of options for your push-ups here. You can elevate onto the wall, countertop, a chair, bench, whatever you need. Or you could drop down to the floor, do them on your knees, or if you're more advanced, do them up on your toes. I'm gonna show you a beginner friendly option here. You can use this at a hubby truck. So you're gonna keep your elbows in line with your body, lower your chest down to the point, and then push back. So the elbows are not going out wide, they're staying right here. Nice and close, we're gonna work those triceps a little bit more with this option. And it's a little less pressure on your wrist. If you're still working on getting that full push up on the ground, this is a really great alternative because your form stays more natural like it would if you were on the floor versus being on your knees. And this is your first time, you can step a little closer to the wall or counter. One more here. Push it back. All right, shake it out. We got alternating reverse lunges. Again, option to add dumbbells if you want or body weight. You could also add a booty band. If you have resistance bands up above the knees. All right, let's take it back and we're gonna drop it down, step forward. Switch sides. If you struggle with balance or you have knee issues and you want to stay in a static lunge and keep it a little shallower, that's totally an option. Or if you want to avoid lunges altogether, you're just going to do a standing tap back. Okay. And let's go. We're going to do eight on each side. This is one. I'll always demonstrate the move for you before we start the actual set. Ooh, don't forget to keep that belly button zipped up in your diaphragm. Ooh, keep going here. All right, we got two more. Let's bring it down. We're going to pulse it out for five, three, two, one. Stand up, shake that leg out, bring it to the other side. Drop it down, pulse for five, three, two, and one. Stand up, shake it out. We're going to go back to those push ups. So make your way down to the floor or make your way up to the counter, your bench, whatever it is that you're using. And let's drop it down for 10. Same exact thing. Keep going, keep going. Two more here. All right, shake it out. We're going back to those lunges. You forgot to start your smart device, Apple Watch, Garmin, whatever it is. Go ahead and hit that start button now. All right, back to those reverse lunges, alternating for one. Good, keep going here. Don't forget your more knee friendly option of those step backs and taps. You can add a high knee to make it harder. Making sure to keep your feet hip distance apart. You start bringing them in like this, you're gonna fall over. So I'm a huge fan of videotaping or working out in front of a mirror. Just turn that iPhone on to selfie mode, hit video record, and then you have a live mirror right in front of you. 
Let's keep going here. Good. Keep breathing. Exhale when you push up. All right, bring it back over to your starting side. For me, that was the right. We're gonna pulse it out for five, three, two, one, switch sides. Five, three, two, and one. Stand up, shake it out. Grab a little sip of water if you need it. Towel off, hit pause, take a moment on the floor. We're gonna go back to those push ups. Last round. Make them count. See if you can step a little farther away from that wall. Or maybe start out on your toes for a few and then drop down to your knees if you need to. And we go in three. And go. Keep those elbows in about 45 degrees out away from the body. Whew. Keep going. Eight, two more. Last one. Good. All right, shake it out. We're gonna go back to those lunges. I'm gonna add some weights this time. Instead of alternating, we're gonna do them all on one side. So let's start with that right leg. Step it back, drop it down for one. Bring it forward, step back again. Another option is just to do a static lunge and just go up and down each time without the step. Good. Keep going here. Eight. Nine, one more. You're doing great. You've come this far. You didn't come this far, you just come this far. Let's finish strong. Good. Keep going here. Ooh. We've got eight, two more. Last one. All right, shake it out. Set those weights down. Grab some water if you need it. TikTok, how we doing? All right. Let's have a little cardio burst. So we're gonna do high knees, two options. And then I'm not gonna tell you what the second one is. So high knees, let's go for 20 seconds. Two options, high impact. You're gonna run it up, low impact. Boom, high knee top, side to side. If you don't have the extension in your legs, march it in place. All right, and let's go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Push it, push it, push it. You got this, you got this, we're almost there. We got five, three, two, one, shake it out. All right, either come down onto the floor or if you wanna grab a chair or you have that counter or wall handy, we're gonna do plank shoulder taps. So, I have a bench here, but I'll also show you on the floor. You're just gonna come down into a plank position. So here, shoulder taps, one, two. Slightly easier option on your knees, tap it out, or you can elevate it, just like we did those push-ups. A chair works great for this too. You can also bring it up onto the counter. And let's go, try to keep those hips from rotating too much. Stay in that nice locked out plank position. <coughs> keep going, keep going. Three, 
two, and one. All right, shake it out. A couple of deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We're gonna take it back to those high knees. In five, three, two, and go. Remember, you've got the low impact or the march in place or the high knee jog. Your option, let's go. You wanna start with one, take it down a notch or start easy and take it up a notch. Your workout, your choice. Kind of like a choose your own adventure book. The choose your own workout. Some days you may take the harder, high impact version. Some days you may take the low impact version. All right, we got three, two, and one. Shake it out, bring it back to the floor. We're gonna go back to those shoulder taps. In three. And go, drop it into that plank. Tap it out. Keep that hip roll minimal. Abs are pulling you away from the floor. Bring your feet a little wider if you need a little more stability. Keep going, keep going. Two and one. Walk it in, shake it out. Whew. All right, grab some water towel off if you need to. Grab those weights if you have them. You could also use a resistance band with handles. We're gonna do a bicep to a shoulder press. So grab those weights. You can also use water bottles, wine bottles, whatever it is that you have. Bicep curl, rotate, wide shoulder press. Bring it back down. Curl, rotate, press. Your shoulders are toast. You're gonna to stick here with this bicep curl. The slower you go, the more difficult it's gonna be. Whew. If you wanna do like five bicep curls, one shoulder press. I didn't realize how burnout my shoulders were from yesterday. Or I probably wouldn't have programmed all of these shoulder presses. Keep going. All right, let's do a couple more. Right now we've got five bicep curls, one shoulder press. That's working great for me, but you take whatever it is that you need. All right, bring it down, shake it out. We're gonna go into a tricep kickback. Again, option with the resistance band, you're just gonna pull it up and then pull the band back behind you. Weights, same thing. We're gonna hinge forward at the hips, bring the arms to 90 degrees, push and lift back. Push and lift from the front, push and lift. Nice and slow here. Don't forget to keep breathing and keep pulling yourself up away from the floor. Slight bend in those knees. All right, we got five, three, two, one. Lift, pulse it back, pulse it for five. Three, two, one, shake it out. We're gonna go back to that bicep curl. Very minimal rest here. Bicep curl, let's do five, four, three. Again, slow the tempo down if you need to. You don't have to go at the same pace as me. Curl, rotate, press overhead. Back down, five more bicep curls. Five, four, three, two, all the way up, rotate, press it up. Bring it back down. Yes, I dropped down to two pound weights. The most important thing here is not how much weight you're lifting, but that you keep moving, right? Boot camp is a little different than if we were just at the gym, doing up our body, you know, taking a lot of rest between our sets. Don't beat yourself up. You showed up, you chose to do this today. I want you to celebrate that. We're gonna finish with five full presses. Curl and press, that's three, two, last one. 
All right, two options. You can take the triceps and that bent kickback, or if you want to go overhead, you step a little farther away, you're going to bring it up, drop it down, and kick it up here. Keep those elbows in close to your ears, like you're trying to press earmuffs into you if you're going overhead. Keep going here. We got five, three, we're gonna pulse at the end. Two, one, pulse it out. If you're on that kickback, you're just pulsing and lifting for four, three, two, one. Bring it down, shake it out. Grab some water if you need it. Oh, I should have turned that fan on. Oh well, too late now. And if you have any questions anywhere throughout this workout as you're watching the replay on YouTube, you know, drop that in the comment section. I go and check it a couple of times a week give you some tips. I can give you some feedback if you're struggling with an exercise. All right, let's finish strong on these biceps. Curl for five. And if you want to do a little heavier weight for these curls, we're going to rotate and then you can switch it out real quick if you need to for those presses. Or just sink in a few extra reps. Good, keep going, curl and press. And we're gonna go up again, press it overhead. You're doing great here. Good. One more here, and we're gonna finish with five presses. Rotate it in, bring it back, press it up. Three. Last one. Five. Bring it down. Shake it out. Grab some water. Next, we're going to come down onto the mat. I'm going to roll out a mat just so you can see me a little better. Black on black is a little hard, I right know. All right. So come down onto the floor. Grab those dumbbells if you have them. Let's get this bunch out of the way. So if you've had kids, if you have any kind of abdominal separation, hernia, or any kind of abdominal injury, you're gonna take this first option here. Knees are bent, arms out in front of you. Little roll downs and bring it back up. Keep your head and chest relaxed, chin away from your chest. These tiny little roll downs here. No ab injuries, all the way down. Weights can come overhead if you want an assisted sit up. You're gonna come all the way up and sit up. Roll back down one vertebra at a time. And up. If you don't need the weight, you've got that full sit up, you can drop the weight. Again, any kind of abdominal separation or ab or hernia, roll downs. They're still effective. We're just working that top part of the abs. This is what it looks like without the weight. Enjoy the sound of my hip popping. If you can hear that. A couple more here. We've got two. Last one, roll it all the way down, nice and slow. Put those knees into your chest. We're gonna take a quick little rock side to side. We're almost done, you're doing great. Keep going here. All right, we're gonna do one more set of those sit-ups. So grab your weights if you need to, rock yourself back up to that sitting position if you're gonna be doing the roll downs. If you wanna switch it up, you can do a half roll down punch. Otherwise, you're coming all the way back down for those sit-ups. Roll it down, weight overhead, bring it up. Keep breathing.
Two more here. Okay, throw it down. All right, bring it up. Shake it out. Stretch those abs out if you need to. We've got a couple more exercises before we wrap it up. So go ahead and come onto your hands and knees on the mat. You can roll the mat up a few times if you need a little extra cushion under your knees. If you have wrist problems, make a fist or grab those dumbbells and hold onto those dumbbells. We're gonna do bird dogs. So alternating arm and leg extensions. So right arm comes up, left leg goes out. Bring it back in, other side. From the front, right arm, left leg, back to center, left arm, right leg. If you're just starting out, you've never done this before, you're just gonna do alternating arms. Okay, let's go ahead and get started here. And go. Take it nice and slow and think about keep pulling that belly button up away from the floor. It's a very underrated exercise. You can also add a band to make it a little bit harder. Okay, a couple more here. All right, push back, shake it out. Roll those wrists out. Wouldn't be a boot camp with me without a little extra glutes work. I feel like we didn't do that many glutes. So we're gonna stay in this kneeling or hands on knees position. You can also drop down to your forearms if you have really bad wrist issues. And we're gonna do some donkey kicks. So curl those toes under. We're kicking the bottom of the foot up to the floor or up to the ceiling. Nice and slow. You wanna add a booty band, you can. Go keep going here. All right, switch sides, same thing. Again, think about what muscle you're working. Create that tension with your body. Doing good, keep going. Last one here. All right, push back into a quick child's pose if you need, bring it up. Oh, I'm still a little congested, so give me a second here. We're going to go back one more set of those bird dogs, another set of donkey kicks, and we're going to finish with some glute bridges. Sound good? Sounds good. All right. Bird dogs are alternating. Arm and leg extensions, right arm, left leg, back to middle. If you want to let it out a little. Knee crunch, you can do a couple on each side before switching. Up to you. Okay, keep going here. Looking good, looking good, keep going. Whew. Keep going, keep going. I want you to keep going, you do six more. You got this, keep going. We got four. And three, and two, and last one. All right, let's finish with those donkey kicks and then we're gonna flip over onto our backs. So again, down on your forearms if you need to, or up on your hands and knees. Curl those toes under. Let's kick the bottom of that foot up to the ceiling. So we're going up to the sky, not back behind us. We got four more here. Four, three, two, 
Last one. Hold it up. Little pulses. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch sides. Same thing. And you've come this far. Don't stop now. Keep going. Last one. Pulse it out for five, three, two, and one. All right, go ahead and roll over. Come onto your backs on the mat. We're gonna finish with some glute bridges. So roll all the way down. Walk those knees in. Or walk those heels in close to your butt. Feet are hip distance apart or slightly wider. We're gonna push through our heels, squeeze our glutes, lift our hips straight up to the ceiling. So from here, going straight up. Try not to push back in your shoulders. Hands are down on the floor. Good. Keep going. All right, last one, we're gonna hold it up. Lift and hold for five, relax your face. Three, two, one, bring it down. Rock those knees side to side here. All right, we're gonna switch to a single leg bridge. Couple of options. First option is to just lift the heel of your right foot. Nothing else changes. Second option, cross the right leg over the left. Lift your hips. Third option, straighten your right leg. Push through, lift those hips. Take whichever one feels best to you today. I'm gonna take the cross leg option and we're gonna lift. Keep going. Two more here. Last one, hold it up. Three, two, one, bring it down, switch sides. Left leg crosses over the right, left leg goes straight up, or left heel lifts. And go. Keep going, we're almost done. Two more. Last one, hold it up. All right, bring it down. Bring both feet back flat on the floor. Walk them out to the outside edge of your mat. I want you to drop both legs over to the right side. Keep that left shoulder on the ground. Nice little quad and hip flexor stretch here. Take a couple of deep breaths. You made it to the cool down. Go ahead and flip over, switch sides when you're ready. All right, go ahead and roll over onto your stomach. We're gonna stretch that chest out and those shoulders. So flat on your belly, arms are out wide like an airplane. So you're gonna twist, open. Nice gentle stretch here across the shoulder, the chest. And then we're gonna switch sides. All right, and then back down on your stomach, push back into a child's pose. Couple of deep breaths here. Drop that forehead down to the mat if you want. Knees can come a little wider than hip distance if you need a little extra room. And then we're gonna take one arm, we're gonna lace it through, drop down. Ooh, stretch that back and that shoulder out. Hold for as long as you need to. It should never be painful. Just a gentle tug. 
Other side. All right, and then come up to a kneeling or a seated position. We're gonna shrug those shoulders up a few times, roll them back. And then let's roll them forward. All right, and then nice little gentle head pull to one side, reach down, opposite arm, switch sides. If you have any pain when you do this, let go. And just use the weight of your head to do the stretch. And then let's do a couple of gentle neck rolls. And then switch directions. We hold so much tension in our neck and shoulders. So it's really important to take a break every once in a while, especially if you work at a desk all day. And just kind of go through some of these stretches. Open your arms out wide, tuck your head back. Just reverse that forward hunch that we do so much of. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. Be on the lookout for some more new workouts both here on YouTube and then live on TikTok once a week. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this workout, you can Venmo me at Brianna Ottinger Fitness. Um, I will post the link in the comments section under YouTube, or if you're on TikTok, you can send me a little gift on TikTok. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you.